I'm Matt Cooper Tools. Today, let's do a battle of the brushes against all of these impact drivers. Now, these are not 12 volt tools, these are higher voltage tools. So, let's see in this test which one will actually prevail over the others. Let's see if we can help you decide on which impact driver you think that you need. The DeWalt Atomic weighs 2 pounds and 2.0 ounces. Model number is DCF 850B, 20 volt tool, $159 tool only, 1825 inch pounds of torque, 3800 impacts per minute, 3250 RPM, three year warranty. Try LED beam around the collet. Battery is full, four amp hour battery. We'll, we'll do a six inch timber lock first. 2.10 seconds. From front to back, it is 100.2 millimeters. The Ryobi weighs two pounds and 5.2 ounces. Model number is PBLID02B, $99 tool only, 18 volt tool, 2200 inch pounds of torque, 4000 impacts per minute, 2900 RPM, and three year warranty. Single LED light at the base, 4 amp hour battery, battery is full. 1.70 seconds. From front to back, it is 142.4 millimeters. 4 amp hour battery, battery is full. 2.75 seconds. Battery is full, five amp hour battery. I do not have a four amp hour battery for Milwaukee. 1.16 seconds. Craftsman, four amp hour battery, battery is full. 3.55 seconds. Battery is full, five amp hour battery. Flex does not make a four amp hour battery. 1.32 seconds. Four amp hour battery, 21700 cells. Hilti only has a 2.6 with 18650 cells. Everything else has 21700 cells. 1.73 seconds. Milwaukee's still using the 5 amp hour battery. Battery is full. 1.22 seconds. Let's try out this freaking sign I just made you guys. I sent this to the Torque Test channel. Let's see how well this actually does. 1.48 seconds. The previous Milwaukee Gen 3 model for the win, 1.16 seconds, and Craftsman in last place with 3.55 seconds. Still working on the Timberlocks, 1.26 seconds for the DeWalt, 1.32 seconds for the Ryobi. Heated weighs 1 pound, 15.8 ounces. Model number is XTD16Z, $167.03 tool only, very specific. 18 volt tools, 3600 RPM, and three year warranty. Two LED lights are on the collet with a glow in the dark ring. 1.67 seconds. From front to back, it's 116.5 millimeters. The Milwaukee Gen 3 weighs two pounds and 3.6 ounces. Model number is 2853-20, 18 volt tool, $129 tool only, 2,000 inch pounds of torque, 4,300 impacts per minute, 3,600 RPM, and five year warranty. Single LED light underneath the collet. From front to back, the Milwaukee Gen 3 is 116.7 millimeters. The Craftsman weighs 2 pounds and 2.6 ounces. Model number CMCF820B, $99 tool only, 20 volt tool, 1700 inch pounds of torque, 3800 impacts per minute, 2800 RPM, and three year warranty. Tri LED lights around the collet. Back, the Craftsman is 139.6 millimeters. 0.94 seconds for the Flex, wow. 1.51 seconds for the Hilti, 1.32 seconds for the Milwaukee, 1.14 seconds for the Frankenstein. There's Flex with 0.94 seconds for the win, and the last place is Craftsman with 2.55 seconds. All right, now let's go into five inch ledger locks. 2.40 seconds for the DeWalt, 1.82 seconds for the Ryobi, 2.72 seconds for the Makita, 1.24 seconds for the Milwaukee, 3.44 seconds for the Craftsman. Flex weighs 2 pounds and 12.3 ounces. Model number for the Flex is FX1371AZ. $159 tool only, 24 volt tool, 2,500 inch pounds of torque, 4,500 impacts per minute, 4,000 RPM, lifetime limited warranty. Single LED light on the base. 1.16 seconds for the Flex. From front to back, it is 119.2 millimeters. 1.87 seconds for the Hilti, 1.24 seconds for the Gen 4 Milwaukee, 1.63 seconds for the Frankenstein. Flex with 1.60 seconds for the win, and in the last place, Craftsman with 3.44 seconds. 1.26 seconds for the DeWalt, 1.37 seconds for the Ryobi, 1.48 seconds for the Makita, 1.11 seconds for the Milwaukee, 2.07 seconds for the Craftsman, 1.01 seconds for the Flex, 1.43 seconds for the Hilti, 1.14 seconds for the Gen 4, and 0.97 seconds for my Frankenstein.
Not too shabby, if you ask me. Not too shabby at all. Next, let's do a six inch by three eighths inch leg. Let's see how well these do. 6.02 seconds for the DeWalt. 4.40 seconds for the Ryobi. 5.75 seconds for the Makita. 1.41 seconds for the Milwaukee Gen 3. Wow, that was quick. 7.66 seconds for the Craftsman. 2.31 seconds for the Flex. Pelotin Neuron weighs 2 pounds and 3.3 ounces. Model number is SID622, $180 tool only, 22 volt tool, 2,655 inch pounds of torque, 4,250 impacts per minute, 3,600 RPM, Hilti's 22-1 warranty. Hilti has an entire light ring around the collet. That looks beautiful, by the way. It does. 4.15 seconds for the Hilti. From front to back, the Hilti is 138.2 millimeters. 2.28 for the Milwaukee Gen 4. The Milwaukee Gen 3 for the win with 1.41 seconds. And in last place is Craftsman with 7.66 seconds. I'm sorry, I do not have results for the Frankenstein. Memory card glitched out during the during this specific test. 2.90 seconds for the DeWalt. 2.25 seconds for the Ryobi. 2.55 seconds for the Makita. 1.26 seconds for the Milwaukee Gen 3. 4.63 seconds for the Craftsman, 1.41 seconds for the Flex, 3.14 seconds for the Hilti. Gen 4 weighs 2 pounds and 4.0 ounces. Model number is 2953-20, $149 tool only, 18 volt tool, 2000 H pounds of torque. I do not know what the impacts per minute is, 3900 RPM, 5 year warranty. Try LED beam around the collet. 1.70 seconds for the new Gen 4. From front to back, the new Milwaukee Gen 4 is 113.4 millimeters. This ring is signed just does look cool, you guys. 1.58 seconds for the friggin' sign. And for the win is the Milwaukee Gen 3 with 1.26 seconds. And the last place again is Craftsman with 4.63 seconds. It is time to drive in a six inch by half inch lag. Let's see how well these do. 15.66 seconds for the DeWalt. 6.72 seconds for the Ryobi. That DeWalt struggling a little bit, you guys. 10.61 seconds for the Makita. 5.18 seconds for the Milwaukee Gen 3. 11.14 seconds for the Craftsman. 5.40 seconds for the Flex. 5.98 seconds for the Hilti. 4.15 seconds for the Milwaukee Gen 4. 4. Not quite there yet. Sorry, I stopped prematurely. One more time. 7.02 seconds for the Frankenstein. And for the win is the Milwaukee Gen 4 with 4.15 seconds. And the last place is the DeWalt with 15.66 seconds. I'm not sure what happened there, but the DeWalt struggled on that one. It might have been or not. It might not have been or not, but we'll never know. 5.63 seconds for the DeWalt. 3.02 seconds for the Ryobi. 4.06 seconds for the Makita. 2.93 seconds for the Milwaukee Gen 3. 6.82 seconds for the Craftsman. 2.07 seconds for the Flex. 3.51 seconds for the Healthy. And the Milwaukee Gen 4 got 2.43 seconds. And the Milwaukee Gen 4 Frankenstein weighs 2 pounds and 3.8 ounces. This is an awesome tool, you guys. I'm so glad I made this. 3.0 seconds. I sent this tool to Torque Test channel, so go check out his channel. He's going to do a video on this. I am so excited to see what this thing can do. I'm seriously curious. If tool length is the issue, the DeWalt Atomic would suit you best at 100.2 millimeters for the win. And if tool weight is the issue, the Makita would actually suit you best at 1 pound and 15.6 ounces for the win. 
And if cost is the issue, Ryobi and Craftsman have a good deal at $99 tool only. As you can see, all of these impact drivers are very powerful. Just because the tool does the task faster than the others doesn't mean the others are garbage. Most of these have special batteries to make the tool more powerful. But the, the Craftsman struggle a little bit, but you know, the Craftsman could use a little upgrade when it comes to their impact driver because that is an older model. Flex did very well. Pretty much the Milwaukee and Flex took first and second place. And just so you guys know, it is worth the upgrade. It is. Uh, it's a nice newer model. It has a tri LED beams on the front. The model number for this, again, is 2953-20. But out of all these, the one that I would recommend, uh, I'd actually recommend the DeWalt. I, this is my favorite one. This is my go-to. 1.7 amp hour power stack battery on there, then you're good to go. But that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.